In this tutorial we're going to look at using the follow me tool. Uh, the follow me tool belongs to the edit toolbar and you can find the edit toolbar under view, toolbars and edit. So what we need to do is we need to create a profile that we would like to follow um, along a path and the first thing we'll do is get the circle tool click in the center of the origin and type in let's say 50 and that's 50 millimeters for the radius and you'll notice that the circle is very small so what we can do is click on zoom extents and that will make the circle much bigger now let's change the view slightly then what we want to do is we want to um, draw a path for that circle to follow. So this could be used for um, handrails, uh, it could be used for spouting, you name it. So get the line tool and we need to find the center point of the circle. Since we started from the origin it's a little bit easy but if you need to find the center point of a circle what you can do is with the line tool hold your cursor on the edge without clicking then touch the center of the circle and you'll find the midpoint. Okay, let's now draw this up one meter in the vertical direction, so I'm going upwards. Even though you can't see it because it's on the blue axis, look at the um, the measurements uh, field. You can see that it's moving up um, uh, 1100 millimeters. So let's type in 1000, enter. Okay, so now let's just move this along here like this. Um, maybe we want to move that um, three meters. Okay and then let's say we want to move that another three meters and maybe one more three meters okay and then we're going to draw a line downward and type in 1000 okay so what we've done here is we've created um, breaks in a line so we went three meters three meters three meters and I'm going to get the move tool and um, you can learn about how to use the move tool and the move tool tips and I'm going to move this upwards so we're looking like we're going up some stairs so I'm going to type in um, yeah, 1000 and I'm going to move this one up 1000 okay this one here we're going to move up 2000 and instead of doing the point what I can actually do is click on the line and I can type in 2000 okay and you can see there that we've got now the the makings of a, um, a handrail so there's a few different ways we can use the follow me tool. Um, we can first click on the follow me tool. We can then click on the profile. So we zoom in real nice and close. One click because we want to free up our fingers so we can zoom in and out. Then we can drag it up the line. Then take it to the other line. Then follow along the other line and so on and then click to finish and you've now created a, a follow me along that path um, so that's one way of doing it if we go undo the other way we can um, make that profile follow along that path is to select all the lines in one go and I'm doing a selection crossing and that's from right to left which picked up the lines for the handrail so you only select the lines not the profile then click on the follow me tool then click on the profile and that's now sweep that along that path okay so just to recap you can just click on the profile drag it along a path and it will then follow that path or you can pre-select the path that you wish to follow then click on the follow me tool then click on the profile another one we can do is we could um, get the line tool and we could just click over here to the right axis and just we're just going to create a vertical plane and if you remember in an earlier tutorial um, drawing a line we can then hold shift along the red axis um, and then we can touch the end point here click and then click down the bottom to close in that face so I'm creating a vertical surface to use to create a profile within so what I might do is just create a little chest piece, so I'm going to click there and then break the line there 
come back that way and maybe I just go up a little bit and then maybe I might swap to um, a two point arc and then click there to begin, click there and you can learn more about how to use the arc tool in the um, in the drawing toolbar tutorial series um, and then we'll click there and there and then maybe we just finish that off with the the line tool like so. So it could be any shape at all it really doesn't matter, it's just an example of um, how to use the follow me tool. Um, then get the eraser and we can then erase the excess line work and we now have a profile. So we could either choose for this to be um, a chest piece, so let's, let's just have a look um, and then otherwise I'll reverse it and we'll make it like a um, a coving for the inside of a wall. So I'm going to draw a circle at the bottom of the, the chest piece. Um, I'm having a little bit of difficulty choosing the right plane. I need the green plane. So, oh, sorry, the blue plane. So once I find blue I hold shift and that locks that plane. Then I can go and click on that endpoint, let go of shift and then I can draw that circle. And if you remember in an earlier um, tutorial about drawing circles, we can change the number of segments of that circle. Um, I'll also show you why you might do that. So let's first just follow me this and then we'll talk about um, making it smoother. So select the surface, click on follow me, then click on the profile and you can see that it instantly sweeps it around that path but you can see here also that there's quite a few segments, it's not very smooth which is not so good when you're trying to make something look you know quite nice so go undo so if we right click on that endpoint there and we go to um, entity info and I'll just pull that off from the side you can see we've got 24 segments so if we crank that up to maybe 48 then we can select the path again then click on follow me then the profile you can see that the circle is much more smoother um, and the part looks really good so like I was mentioning earlier we could maybe have done a chess piece from that profile but if I just undo it uh, maybe we get the eraser and just erase what we want to keep or don't want to keep and we reversed it to like a, a coving for the inside of a house so if I get the line tool, I'm just going to do a corner of my coving. So I'm going to draw it out to the side here and then across and then back. Then get the select tool and select the line that I wish for it to follow. Then follow me, then click on the profile. And you can see here, if we're standing in the inside of a building, looking up at the coving, um, it's created quite a nice little detail, um, a little bit unorthodox, but a little detail for around the top of your walls. So virtually um, with the follow me tool you can create any profile and sweep it along um, any path.